Hey there guys, Fave here, and previously I did a video where I tracked down one domino crown through over 60 owners over the course of 13 years. Now that took a lot of research and I said I would never research another hat ever again. But you know, I kind of like doing this stuff, tracking down the path of one item through a bunch of different people. And this item, well, to be honest, it has the weirdest path ever. But before I jump into today's video, we have to do today's challenge. So, today's challenge is, if you've ever wanted a Dominus before, smash that like button. And with that being said, let me explain a quick concept and let's start the story. So, there are limited items and there's limited unique items. A limited item is an item that was on sale and then it went limited, so anyone could buy it before. There was no limited amount. But a limited unique item is that there's a set amount that can be sold and then it runs out. So here we have the Dominus Frigidus, which came out in 2011, costing 39,000 Robux and only 26 were to be sold. This was the third Dominus ever released and it's the second most valuable one as of recently. Being that there's only 26 of these and it's become pretty rare over the years as plenty of people have gotten banned forever with it. And a serial number is what order of it you were to buy it. Similar to like a user ID, the first person to buy a Dominus Frigidus gets serial number one. The 19th gets number 19. But we're going to be taking a look at serial number 25 Dominus Frigidus. Now why serial number 25? Well, this item has been banned forever two times and it got brought back from the dead twice. So with all that being said, Let's go ahead and bring some context. Now, believe it or not, the Dominus Frigidus, despite only having 26 in existence, took an entire six minutes to sell out. This is because back in March 24th, 2011, the day this item came out, not a lot of people have 39,000 Robux. Like, that's a lot of Robux to all of y'all now, but back in 2011, that was a ridiculously super rich, insane amount of Robux, okay? So, to be able to buy this the day it came out, you had to be super rich just at the right time. But with all that being said, 26 people originally got it, and the 25th person to get it, well, if you remember my series on the Domino Crown, this name might be familiar to you, and that is none other than the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Dark U Dog. Now, Dark U Dog is banned forever, and he used to be one of the richest people on Roblox, if not the richest, back in 2011. So obviously, he could buy it on the first day. Now, he was lucky because he almost missed it, because he got number 25, and there was only 26 to be sold. So that's the second last person to buy it. But nonetheless, he did buy it for 39,000 Robux, and he was sure to profit, because... If we take a look at the Dominus Frigidus two months later after it came out, as you can see, it was originally 39,000 Robux, and it was already selling for upwards of 250,000 Robux to 300,000 Robux. Nowadays, given that the item's worth 18 million Robux, it might seem like a big difference, but of course, back then everything was different. There was much less that was banned forever, and, you know, this was just getting tossed around a lot, because, you know, people didn't have as much Robux back then. Now, Robux has only grown over time. But yeah. So clearly, this was a big ticket item and everyone wanted it. So where did it go after Dark U Dog had number 25? Well, Dark U Dog's dream item on Roblox was always to get the original Domino Crown, and he would do anything to get it. He had every big item except for that, because back then, the Domino Crown was probably the most expensive item on the whole website. So, it was going to take a lot for him to get it, and it seemed like it was impossible back then. Now, I already told this full story in another video, so you can go watch that if you want to. But basically, he was selling a bunch of his items to have enough Robux to get the Domino Crown, where he ended up being having over 1 million Robux by the end of it. So anyway, so on May 20th, 2011, he makes this thread on the forums, selling Dominus Frigidus for 260,000 Robux. Good deal. And here's people roasting him and telling him and a bunch of stuff. Cool. I don't care. Buy my stuff. Man, what a cool story. Buy my stuff. Man, you guys got some awesome opinions. Too bad I don't care. Buy my stuff. So anytime someone would reply to with some sassy stuff, making fun of him or being jealous or sad that he's rich, he just kept telling people to buy his stuff. Pretty funny. Shout out to Dark U Dog. He did help me with this video. And he's the homie. Anyway... Let's go ahead. So eventually someone did take him up on this offer. And if we take a look here, he says, Colonel Graf bought my Dominus Frigidus for 250k. 
He probably meant 260k, could have been 250, it doesn't matter. It's a quarter million Robux, it's a lot of money, okay? So on May 20th, 2011, he sells the Dominus Frigidus to Colonel Graf. Now, funnily enough, I actually messaged Colonel Graf about this Frigidus to see if he had anything else to say about it. And he doesn't really remember anything about it. But what's cool is that nowadays, Colonel Graf is kind of like a famous game developer, and he made the scuba diving game that was featured in this year's Egg Hunt. So that's pretty cool to see someone who had a Dominus nine years ago still out here on Roblox grinding away. So, you know, cool stuff, Colonel Graf. But anyway, unfortunately, on July 14th, 2011, number 25 Frigidus exited the hands of Colonel Graf, and not by selling or trading, but by him getting hacked. So here's his account making a thread about him selling his items for cheap. And you could see him reply on his alt saying, Guys, this guy isn't Colonel Graf, he stole his account! Being legit! I know this because I am Colonel Graf. Oh well, Roblox will get my account back soon. Even the little turd took it that already sold in Furnace and Frigidus. So as you can see, the dude got rid of the Dominus Frigidus he had really quickly, so that's really sad. And anyway, in this other thread, he's threatening to sue Roblox on another alt because someone stole all his stuff. Now, threatening to sue Roblox over losing a virtual item when DevX didn't exist and the Terms of Service says they don't have any real value at the time, I don't know if that's the best idea, but hey, you know, you gotta try what you gotta try to try to get your items back. I get it. They didn't really have rollbacks back then. <laughs> they were just straight up, oh well, you got scammed, sad face. So, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Video title. Anyway, the user that stole the Dominus Frigidus from Colonel Graph was an old account known as Game Pro. Now, yes, this guy has a space in his name, and he was a very infamous scammer back in the day. So you can see him looking like a noob here, but at one point, he was one of the richest scammers on Roblox in like 2011. To this day, I mean, he still has some cool items, but nowhere near his peak amounts, right? So he's talking about how he got password guessed and someone's selling all his items, and through my research of many different forum threads and a first-hand account of someone who was involved, it was GamePro who stole it by sending him a file on Skype that was supposed to be a snipe bot. And a snipe bot is something that'll buy Roblox Limiteds for really cheap, like I've covered in a video I did recently, Who Are These Bots? And unfortunately, a lot of the bots back then were scams, so that's unfortunate, and unfortunately, he had to lose all his items as a result. Anyway, so GamePro gets the f number 25 Dominus Frigidus, and then it goes to a guy named Ninja853. Now, I was able to get into contact with this guy, and he tells the story here. So, he bought the Dominus Frigidus from GamePro, and then GamePro went ahead and logged back into Ninja853's account and changed the email to it. So, he sells the Frigidus to him just to try to scam it back. But, funnily enough, he was trying to scam the Frigidus, but someone else managed to buy it for the really low price. Now, how does that happen, right? Well, back then there was not a trading system, so the only way to steal items is to sell it for really low. And a phrase is known as LPP, lowest price possible. Because back then you couldn't sell items for one Robux, it would actually vanish into thin air, as it would be called sold to Roblox. But Roblox wouldn't actually take it, and it would just disappear. So, with all that being said, this user named Mad Dogs One went ahead and bought it for the really low price. Now, Mad Dogs One is still around to this day. He is not very active. It seems like he quit a while ago, but he has the very cool Dusakar hat. Now, he owned the number 25 Dominus Frigidus for over a year, actually. Okay, he actually owned it until August 26, 2012. Now, what happened on that day? Well, I have to explain a user. There was a user named Tyler's Gifts, who used to be a famous hacker, scammer, keylogger, comper, whatever you want to call him. He stole a lot of Roblox items and made a lot of money doing it back then. He was also known to be very <coughs> Let's not get into that part. Let's focus on the Frigidus, okay? So on August 26, 2012, Mr. Tyler's Gifts went ahead and scammed the Dominus Frigidus from Mad Dogs 1. And you can see that here when Mad Dogs One comes to the forums to complain about him getting scammed. He made a thread called Bid on Frigidus. It's on Tyler's Gifts XD. So that's <laughs> it's him trying to be funny, making light of the fact he just got scammed. All the replies are like, OMG, wow, OMG. So poor Mad Dogs One losing a Dominus Frigidus to a scammer. 
Note that this third time that this Dominus Frigidus has been scammed, okay? Anyway, funnily enough, three days later, Tyler's gifts, after moving the Frigidus through various accounts, because the trade system was out by now, actually ends up getting banned forever. So, here's a alt of his posting about the items finally got deleted on Y-Band, aka the Dominus Frigidus finally got banned forever on an account called Y-Band. So let's take a look at Mr. Y-Band. The reason why I believe this claim is because back then these were some of the most expensive limiteds on Roblox, and it's very plausible that this man held a Dominus Frigidus from 2012 to, well, I have to tell you next time because you might be wondering, if Mr. Y-Band got banned forever, holding a number 25 Dominus Frigidus, how come he doesn't have it now? Well, you're gonna have to find out in part two on what happened to this Dominus Frigidus, okay? So we're gonna leave it off here in August 2012, and that's a funny username to get banned on, Y Banned. He made this account called Y Banned and got banned on it. <laughs> So rest in peace to him, and so thanks for watching the video. Make sure you smash that like button, follow me on Twitter, Roblox is Fave, and subscribe and hit the bell to Fave and Fave 2. Make sure you join my Discord server, Discord at DG slash Fave. Join my fan club on Roblox, and I actually updated my game Stock Market Simulator recently. The Wumbo Belt is still on sale for eight more days. Um, it's in my fan club if you want to buy it. It's a limited, so, you know, shout out to all the limiteds. And it's your boy Fave, and I am out.